We've been switching stuff up on our channel lately, as you know, and one of the things we want to do is to get into more cooking utensils and gadgets and appliances and not just the food part. Right. So today we have our first kitchen gadget review. So this kitchen gadget is from Hamilton Beach and it is a breakfast sandwich maker. I love all those words. I love how they're put together. Um, now, truth be told, we have tried this before. So this is a product that we've had. We just have not used it in quite some time. It's been packed away. It's I mean, it's been away. literal years since we've used it. So uh, how easy is it to use? We need to figure that out. Is it worth it? Right. Is it worth uh, the precious covered space? Yes. Because if you're like us, we're always looking to downsize, downgrade, get rid of some things. Is this worth the shelf space? Um, and does it taste better than what you can go buy? Right. I guess we'll figure all of that out. All right, so this is it. This is the Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. There's a little picture of it. It's uh, quick and easy. It says ready in five minutes, but we'll see. I know that uh, it suggests that we preheat it before doing that, so I don't know how long that's going to take. A couple of minutes. Yeah, a Let's show them what it looks like. By the way, why John takes that out of the box. Um, available at Target, I think, for sure Walmart, and for sure Amazon. So if we can find a link to it, we will leave that down in the comments for you. So it's just a little guy. Yeah. I guess at some point, if... Um, if we want, we could get rid of that box and it would take up a lot less room. Yeah, kind so, of hard to see it, Ben. That's what it looks there like. We go. All the different little levels to it. All right, let's preheat this up. I'm hungry. All right, so this is kind of inspired by John, one of John's favorite meals in the world, and that is a breakfast at McDonald's. Oh, yeah. He loves a good... That might not be my favorite breakfast in the world, but... I do said like one a good, of. I do one like a of. good McDonald's breakfast. He does. He does. Especially the sausage ones. I am more of an egg McMuffin kind of a girl. The ham and cheese, etc. And so maybe if we like this little gadget, we'll make some of those... For me in the future but today it's sausage and we're sticking yeah. as close to the mcmuffin kind of vibes as we can so yep all right let's get to it i'm just gonna open it up here so this is with all the layers up there's the bottom plate um we sprayed it a little bit with some um spray oil cooking oil now well, you start with the first ring down and we're gonna drop in the first piece of the English muffin. Today we're gonna use um, sausage patty. It's a frozen sausage patty, and we've I've kind of heated it up a little in the microwave. So par cook. Yeah, par cook. Um, so it goes in there. We drop down the next layer, and uh, it's got this little slide out thing. This is where the egg is gonna go, and they suggest piercing the yolk. I mean, that's what they do at the at, at the Mickey D's, right? That's yeah. what the egg's like. And so, there we go. We just drop the egg down in there. Then you drop down the other English muffin onto the top and close the lid. Okay, well, uh, we set a timer for four and a half minutes and the uh, timer went off. So that middle plate where the egg was cooking, you're supposed to slide this out like that. No egg stuck to no, it. that actually came out pretty pretty clean and now it says to lift this up and look at that there's the sandwich I mean my gosh and didn't use, okay that's too hot <laughs> didn't use cheese this time but I think next time we will like that that is definitely a breakfast sandwich all right put it over there let's make another one all right and I would love to know in the comments what other uses you can come up with for this little sandwich maker. So I'm thinking since you poke the egg and it's runny anyway, you could definitely do like an omelet style oh, situation. Yeah. I can see using like ham or ham steak, like 
the slices would be good. And if you didn't have that, or like Canadian bacon style, if you didn't have that, you could use little bacon pieces in with the egg and cheese and stuff. And we are gonna do one like that here in a second and see how it turns out. Yeah, for sure. When we're done with John's sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yep, sausage on top. This time I'm gonna put a little cheese in here. Yeah, I would do little because that's the other thing. Is that going to be a wreck using cheese? Is that going to be a mistake? Okay, so this one, I put the sausage down. Um, I think what we're going to do, since I've scrambled it up a little bit, I think you can do that as well. And we're going to add a little bit of some bacon pieces in there. And, and then cheese in with that, or on top. Sure, yeah, cheese on top of that would be good. Okay, so the egg went down. Sprinkle a little or you did cheese, do cheese on down. there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then again, lid goes on top. Close it up. All right. Let's see how this one does. Four and a half minutes. All right. Breakfast number two, hopefully, is done. So again, we. Well, let's be honest. Same breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Second sandwich. Second sandwich. So we pull out the plate. We lift it up. Oh. Oh. Missed one. There we go. So yeah, the cheese does get good and kind of crispy there. Yeah, a little there go. melty. Not too bad. Okay, breakfast or sandwich number two done. All right, so the next one that we have are uh, biscuits. These are like grand biscuits. We tried these in another video. And we thought, what should we do with all the leftovers? Make sandwiches, That's obviously. Right. obviously. So there's the bottom. There's the bottom. So this, so first inspection, it doesn't fill up the cavity <laughs> right. as much. So there could be a little bit of seepage. We'll see. A little cheese. Um, again, we got to put the plate in close to the egg level. Bacon for this one. All right, we'll put some bacon in with I'm the gonna egg. I'm going to do more. Hang on one second. Because we're not going to do sausage on this one, just bacon. Okay. And let's get it in there. All right, eggs going down. Here's the other thing. Yeah. We are. This one's for me. I want this <laughs> right. <laughs> We haven't, haven't seasoned anything yet, so a little pepper. I love salt and pepper. Just just a yeah. little a little bit more pepper than salt, but you know. And then some cheese. And put the lid on. Hat. Yeah, so obviously the egg's going to come out from that biscuit because the little holder is bigger than the biscuit. We'll see how this one turns out. All right. It feels like it might be a mess. And there. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, it's out. The egg cooked, but maybe don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just use the English muffin kind of situation because that is good and toasty. I mean, some people like that. Yeah, it, it'll but, be okay. But I technically don't. I think this looks a lot better. Yeah. So. There you have it. We'll give you our final thoughts here. All right, so overall impressions. I guess we need to talk about a couple of things. One thing that I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, but I want to mention now, is cleanup. Whenever I see a kitchen tool, a gadget, appliance, I always go back to things that I've had in the past that I thought I would love and I loved using, but the cleanup made it so annoying that yeah. I then never used it again. Yes. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's a few. There's a few products like out that. there like that for sure. Um, how did you feel about this one? This one, basically, <laughs> you wipe it off with a damp paper towel. Nothing sticks it. to it. Yeah. Nothing gets burnt on. There might be some crumbs and a crevice here or there that the next time you go to use it will have shook itself loose or whatever. Something yeah. might have stuck in like a little screw or whatever. But um, very easy. And I was worried because 
eggs stick to your pans, mm -hmm. cheese sticks to your pans. Uh, we were cooking with meat that can, you know, sausage is by nature a little bit greasy. So I was really worried that it was going to be tough to clean, but it yeah. wasn't. And, yeah, and that's definitely a big consideration when you're looking at like kitchen products for sure. Because if, if you're not going to use it, then it's not worth the money to get it. Right. If, you know, if the cleanup is that difficult that you're not going to use it. So right. it's good that the cleanup wasn't that bad. Speaking of money, it runs about 30 ish dollars on Amazon. You might see it a little bit less or a little bit more. If we find a link for it, we'll put it down in the comments for you. Um, I think ours was in the 20s, high 20s, mm -hmm. 27 dollars 28 Back when it was. Something like that. Um, here's what I'll, well, do you have anything you want to say um, about yeah. it? Like, I want to talk about like ease of use and how you thought that was versus we understand we can make this exact thing in a pan. Right. So I guess maybe compare the two. The only thing I guess that I think it worked well for what it does. I thought that it cooked the egg very well, and I think that was is probably the most important consideration. Yeah. I was worried in looking at it that the egg was gonna like gonna leak out and do the all this other stuff because Same. that uh, piece, that middle piece, just kind of slides out. There's nothing really sealing that, and I was right. like, "Oh man, we're gonna get egg all over the place." I think it's. I think sorry. I think it's so hot yeah. when it hits it that it's like it seals, seals it. it. Yeah, cuts it and seals it. So it does that really well. That my disappointment with it would be like with the uh, English muffin part of it just it doesn't get toasted like on the inside at all it's kind of strange for me that you cook the egg like basically right into the the nooks and crannies of the yeah the English muffin I mean I guess the top gets a little toasty but you know I you could know. probably do that for a second before you make the sandwich I don't know it I don't like my English muffin being toasted on mm. both sides like that. So it cooks it actually perfect for me. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get into the knocks about it, shall we? It's a one trick pony, as far as yeah. I can tell. You can make eggs a million different ways. You can throw in whatever veg, whatever cheese, whatever meat, whatever. But it's it feels like English muffin breakfast sandwich use only right you could maybe cut a waffle and do something like make mcgriddles oh yeah kind sure. of a situation but i don't think a regular toaster waffle is going to fit perfectly in there maybe those little ones it would but still that would be yeah. a breakfast sandwich right and i i did notice like in the booklet there was like a recipe where you could get the frozen like four inch pancakes yeah and use those in there um, but I don't know how that would really work. We, as you saw, we use the biscuit as like a vehicle for the sandwich and that just burned. Yeah. It just, it's all one temperature. The so, English muffin can take it cause it's, you yeah. know, it's tough on the outside. Tough. Little biscuit. <laughs> it was too hot for a little biscuit. So yeah. <laughs> that's my only, that's my only knock. So for me, only me personally i would say it's not worth it because you can't make multiple things right but i don't love breakfast sandwiches the same way john does he loves breakfast sandwiches and it doesn't take up that much space right what's so convenient and you could so you saw it you know some of this is just box you could actually pitch the box if you wanted to right i, I am impressed like you mentioned with how easy the cleanup was yeah you know if you made these kind of on a daily basis like you had a routine before work or yeah. whatever you would cook it all you really got to do is wipe it out so it's not really that bad you know you could do a bigger clean out of it like once a week or something and just kind of wipe it down in between so well the I mean, other thing is you could batch cook yeah. you know how people make people by people i mean us included make like breakfast burritos every once in a while yeah. wrap them in some wax paper and then pop them in the freezer and then you can just microwave them when you want them yeah i think you could do that um but you can't make multiples at a time or yeah. whatever so i mean overall is it worth it for me no for john probably yes it, it could be you, you know the another thing to think about is the meat that you use has to all be pre-cooked for sure because yeah. it does not cook the meat. 
Yeah. You know, uh, I was, you know, a little disappointed in the the way the sausage was because it was just kind of warmed up and yeah. then thrown in there. And it didn't look that appetizing, but it was just fine to eat. If you're one of those people that stops and pick, picks up a mix something on the way to work every day, this might save you some money oh, yeah, in the absolutely. long run if that's something that you really love and really go for. Or you just want to get it for, you know, somebody in your life that, that does love breakfast. This is a fun little gadget, I think. Yeah. You know, and now that we've found it and we've gotten it out, I, I might You'll use, probably it, more use often. it more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. Overall, how would you rate it? All things considered. I don't know. Um, I guess I give it a, like a six and a half rating for me. Really? It does its job, but it, like you said, it's kind of a one trick pony. And yeah. It, um, I don't know. It, it's okay. I'm going to rate it a seven. Um, I do really like it. I think the one thing it's designed to do, I mean, it says right there, breakfast sandwich maker. That's yeah, what that's it is. It. <laughs> We're just spoiled, right? When you buy a waffle maker, you, you start immediately, I mean, maybe, maybe we're different than you are, but I start thinking, what else could I do with it? And, yeah. you know, like hacks. If you can think of another way we could use this, I would love to know. Yes. I, I would love, love, love to know. Let us know down in the comments. Um, but seven, because of the cleanup, all things considered, it does do breakfast sandwiches really well. It does I just like things that are multifunctional yeah. a little bit a little bit more so and i do believe that they have a double version of this that you can make two sandwiches at the same time okay there you have it i think that's all we have for today let us know if you own one of these have ever seen one of these and like i said if you have any ideas for other things we can make with ours i would love to know my original thought was something desserty. Mm. You know, get something gooey and hot and then put ice cream on top of it or something. But I, I don't know what would work. Let me know, yeah. like I said, if you have a good idea. Uh, come find us on Instagram if you haven't already. We're posting more frequently over there. Make sure you check out our stories and come to the comment section and make sure you're subscribed to this channel along with our other channels. Did you know? We have a game channel where we sit and hang out in the evenings and play games. And we have more time to do that now. And man, does that feel good. We also have another channel where we do other things some other time. That one's been a little bit more of a struggle for us to get back going into. But we've got yeah. lots of ideas coming. Some travel and some little day trips and some shop with us and book reviews and TV reviews all and whatever. So, so that's on the other channel. Come subscribe to all the channels and then just watch the ones that interest you, which I hope are all of them. Or put it on while you go to sleep at night yeah. and let the ads play. That'd be that's great for right. us. <laughs> um, so now if you love breakfast. Yeah. Or gadgets, or us, or the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.